Alright guys, the word around town is that the Sunken Sword has a competitor right now. And you won't believe what weapon it is. Make sure to leave a like and sub if you haven't already. We're on the road to 20k. But yeah guys, today I'm going to be going over that weapon being the Elanian Cutlass. So yeah guys, in today's video I'm going to be going over and basically covering, comparing the Elanian Cutlass with the Sunken Sword. Because the Elanian Cutlass possibly being better, like guys this sword is cracked right now. You have no clue like... It's, it's crazy. It's one of the best, if not the best warrior weapon right now, I swear to God. But yeah, the Elanian Cutlass, possibly if not being a better weapon than the Sunken Sword, says a lot. So yeah, basically, let's just get you know, into the video. All right guys, so the first thing I wanna mention is the skill set between these two weapons. Now, if you look at the skill set of the Elanian Cutlass and the Sunken Sword, they basically have the same moves. The only difference being that the Elanian Cutlass has Whirlwind and the Sunken Sword has Rising Tide. Yes guys, the Elanian Cutlass is also one of the weapons that has recently unlocked its third skill. Now, even though these weapons basically have the same skills, what makes them different from each other is obviously the one skill that, you know, is different. The Whirlwind versus the Rising Tide. So those are the two main moves we're going to be focusing on here. And this is for Warriors, by the way, because... The Elanian Cutlass, you need, you need literally 200 weapon level to even get the first move. But yeah, so we're just going to be focusing on the first skill, basically. I'll go over all of them, but yeah, that's what we're going to be focusing on since those are the only differences between with the weapons. All right, let's just go over the first um, skill for the Sunken Sword as we all know it. And, you know, it's the Rising Tide. Also, yeah, this is XK. Shout out to XK. Um, he's going to be my test dummy. And uh, yeah, listen to him here. All right, so yeah, we're going to go over the, the first skill, the, basically just the Q move. I'm going to call it the Q move. We're going to go over the Q move for the Sunken Sword first. The Rising Tide, you know, a classic skill there. 212 damage, but leaves a soaked effect. So we're going to pay attention to mainly is the cooldown in the AoE. Fairly sizable AoE. Well, look at that cooldown though, man. That cooldown is like five seconds for all I know. But now, now you guys are going to understand what I mean by the Elanian Cutlass is better. This weapon not only has the exact same skill sets, you know, has Flying Phoenix and has Tiger Rush. So it's literally the Sunken Sword, but for Warriors, right? Not only has all that, but its Q move is what does the work, man. Just, just take a look at this. Boom. 208 damage, bleeding effect. Cooldown's off. I can do it again. Literally a two second cooldown. This weapon is crazy in fights. I'll show you guys some clips after all this, um, you know, showcasing, but the Whirlwind, the Q move on the Elanian Cullis is actually broken right now. Bro, this thing has some crazy range as well. I'm hitting him from all the way over here with my Whirlwind, and all I have is, I have 96 um attack size. So I have a good amount of attack size, but for that amount, and the weapon skill like that, look at that. Bro, I'm hitting him from all the way over here. And you can also aim this thing too. So if you want to hit down, you just you literally just move your camera to the way you want it to aim. Yeah, guys, since this um, move is vertical instead of horizontal, uh, it just goes like like in a like this like direction. And it's kind of the opposite for the um for the sunken sword, which is kind of what makes it a little bit awkward to use. Because as for the sunken sword, if you're looking straight. And you use the Q move, it shoots you up. So if you want to go forward, you have to look like this, right? But as for this move, it's kind of easier to um like aim in which way you want it to attack. So that's why, like another reason, it's way easier to use in fights, in my opinion. Because like if my opponent is up above me in the air, like up here, all I got to do is this. And I hit him. Like it's kind of like aiming like a twin crescent or something. It's really easy to aim and it's really easy to use. Since it has a 360 hitbox around you, it just overall is way easier to use and way easier to hit. And as you guys just saw, this thing has an insanely large hitbox right now. Compared to the uh Sunken Sword, for example. The Sunken Sword, it just, you know, since it goes like horizontal, it's really hard to aim, like I said. And yeah, the like hitbox is big, but the um the cooldown on it is like two times, if not like three times longer. Like, look, you have to wait this long for it to go off. And the thing about the Elania colors is one, it's easy to use, and two, you literally can spam it. You know, you can go over and use like your um, mirrored river skill or something or whatever like your teleport move you have. Instantly switch over, boom, whirlwind. Use uh like my sparrow thrust. Boom, whirlwind. Like, it's a nice cutoff move that you can use whenever you're switching weapons. And it's really reliable on that way because you won't have to be waiting for the move to go off cooldown at all. And obviously, this weapon is definitely going to be nerfed, um, rebalanced, like, really soon in the future. Probably within a couple of days or a week here. Depends on how, like, used this weapon is and how, like, known this weapon is going to be 
after you know the buff that it's gotten and um with this video it's it's definitely going to be known a lot but i really just gotta let y'all know this because this weapon right now is just crazy like all something else i gotta mention is this weapon does it is kind of like a reskin so there are a couple weapons that um have the same skill sets as well but just different types of substats so um for example the Sumerian scimitar is basically the same thing um just you know, it's, like I said, it's reskinned, has whirlwind. Um, but the thing is about this one, it does more damage, but has a smaller AOE. So this thing does have one damage overall, while this one has 0.9, but the attack size is 1.3 and the attack size on this is 1.6. So the uh, landing colors overall is just better as you have more of a range to hit and it only does like 20 less damage. They both apply bleeding though. So I will say overall probably does like only 30, like 250 ish damage about 230, 250 around there. Yeah, for sure. If you guys don't have a sunken sword, get yourself an Alanian Cullis right now if you don't already have one. These things are really easy to get and they're super cheap. So honestly, I might stick around with the Alanian Cullis for a while until it gets nerfed or something. Cause like I said, it's really easy to use. In my opinion, it's a lot easier to use than the Q move on the sunken sword. And like I said at the beginning of the video, this is sadly a, um, what's it called? A warrior weapon only as to unlock even the first move, you have to have 200 weapon level. So you can't be a conjurer and use the Alanian Cullis sadly as overall, that would be crazy overpowered. Alright guys, also this information was given to me by Salty, so, you know, thanks to Salty for giving me this information about how cracked the landing code this is right now. Uh, yeah, thank you, man. Alright, now that we're over all the yapping and all the statistics, let's get into some PvP clips, what all of you guys have been waiting for. <laughs> 